Okay, let's have a look here. The point AB at the end point of the segment AB. Find the coordinate of C which divides AB internally in the ratio of parts one. Oh, now the formula for that, if I remember it off the top of my head, is um, mm, there's a B plus A, BX1 plus AX2, and then BY1 plus AY2 over B plus A, where that's A and that's B. Oh, did I remember that correctly? Oh, I'll have to check it. Um, okay. B1 times X1, which is eight, plus A, which is four, times X2, which is minus one, all over five. That's four fifths. That doesn't fill me with warm feelings. Um, B, which is one, times Y1, which is minus four, plus A, which is four, times Y2, which is three, over five. Eight fifths. I want to pause this for like 10 seconds to check the formula book. Okay, so I shouldn't have doubted myself. Uh, that's what I had, BX1 plus AX2, BY1 plus AY2. Yeah, okay, so I, I did remember it correctly. All right, the line L has a slope M and contains the point QR, MQ, or... Uh, Um, M, Q, R are all real and positive. Find the coordinates of the point where L cuts the y-axis in terms of M, Q, and R. Hmm, interesting. So let's get the equation of this line. Y minus Y1 equals M times X minus X1. And then um, we want to know where across the y-axis. So that's set X equal to zero. Y minus R equals minus MQ. Oh, and we know X is zero. What a weird question. Um, and the Y will equal R minus MQ. The line K is slope of minus two. The line J makes an angle of 30 degrees with K. Find one possible, one possible value. Now, I was talking to students yesterday in the exam prep class. Um, you got to keep your eye out for one possible in the coordinate geometry questions. So it's not two answers here. One is enough. Uh, the line K is slope minus two, and the line J makes an angle of 30. And the slope of line J is just tan 30. which is root three over three. Um, find one possible value of the slope of line J. Oh, sorry. It makes an angle of 30 with K. Okay. So the formula here, you have two lines. Uh, K is going down, minus two. And then J, I don't know, maybe it's like it's going up for, well, well, that's not quite right, but going up, say. And that angle there is 30 degrees. So that we have the formula for the angle between two lines. Tan 30 equals plus or minus. I'll call this guy M2 and this guy M1. M2 minus M1. Or M1 minus M2. It doesn't matter which one you call M1 and M2. Or is it plus 1 plus M1, M2? Formula book. There it is. Minus plus. Yeah, that's what I said. Okay. So now we get 
and uh, root three over three, and we'll just drop the minus answer. So that's m2 minus minus two over one minus two m2, cross multiplying, that's root three minus two root three m2, root three minus two root three m2 equals three m2 plus six. Root three minus six equals three m2 plus two root three m2. So I can take the m2 out and then divide. So I get m2 is root three minus six over three plus two root three. But we have to uh, write it in this form. So I'll need to multiply above and below by three minus two root three and three minus two root three. So when I multiply at the bottom, that would be 9 plus 12. And on the top, uh, root that would be 3 root 3 minus 6 minus 18 plus 12 root 3. Oh, my. So that's going to be... 15 root 3 minus 24 over 21. Is that a minus 18? I feel like something has gone astray here. Oh no, it's not because D, E, and F, or D, E, and F are integers. So I've made an arithmetic mistake here because it hasn't cancelled down. Let's try and find it. Tan 30. Retrieve retrieve. M2 minus M1, which is minus 2. So that'll be plus 2 over 1 plus M1, M2. Okay, cross multiplying. Root 3 minus... Oh, rats. I oh, know that is right. <laughs> root 3 times 1 is root 3. That's minus 2 root 3. That's 3m2 plus 2 plus 6. Root 3 minus 6 equals 3 plus 2 root 3. Root 3 minus 6 over 3 plus 2 root 3. 3 minus 3 minus. Okay. 9 plus 12. That looks okay. 3 times root 3, 3 root 3, root 3 times that, that's minus 2 times 3 is 6, minus 18, plus 12 root 3, 15. Hmm. Hmm. How very odd. I've done something very silly. <sighs> I didn't have my supper yet. That's what it is. Tree, root tree. Okay. Root tree times that. That's minus two times tree. That's minus six. Minus 18 plus 12 root tree. I'm sorry, guys. What am I doing so silly at the end here? Because my calculator is telling me the answer works out. So I'm doing something really silly at the last step. And I'm just too tired to see what it is.
Oh, it's a pity you can't tell me. Pause. Oh, Stephen, you made a sign mistake. Minus nine minus twelve minus three. Disgraceful. I was thinking of complex numbers. So uh, fifteen divided by minus three is minus five. Root three. And then minus 24 divided by minus 3, 8. So that's the answer I got. Sorry, it's been a long day. Long, last few days. Okay, that took much longer than it should have, but hopefully that's right. Let me know if it's not and I'll re-record it.